What would iTunes be without iPod? iPod has been a giant hit for us. We've got the five gigabyte iPod, a thousand songs in your pocket. With iPod, we struck a middle path and we've made our users happy and we've made the music companies happy. Normally DJs uh, DJ with their vinyl or CDs and we use iPods. Steve Jobs debuted the new iPod mini MP3 player yesterday. The new gizmo can hold 1,000 standard songs or one copy each of Inagata De Vida and Freebird. The Nano is small, it's light, it's unbelievable. I think every person who has an iPod is ultimately going to get a Nano. I'm wondering how long Apple can really coast on this whole iPod trend. Well, At some point everyone's going to have one. iPods are huge with the kids. Uh, the older kids want the, uh, the iPod Nano. They had to take the iPod to the next level and I think they did. The video iPod and then the one with uh, all the Gigabytes. Yeah. Whee! <laughs> Everyone had been expecting for Apple to come out with a video iPod, but no one expected it to be this big. Jason from Pennsylvania writes, after buying the original iPod, the Shuffle, and the Nano, why would I want to buy the video iPod? <laughs> trying to ride around on a subway here in New York City and try to get into one cab and not see one person with... Yeah. Well, a new survey taken on the campus of NYU shows 20% of students would trade their vote for an iPod Touch. Apple to release new iPod Touch today, complete with gold option. Why are people still buying iPods? Because you just don't you just use your phone? Yeah. I'm kind of confused on what. But a gold would one would be pretty cool to have. Right.